Thank you for taking time to watch this video showing how simple it can be to upgrade from TurboTax software to the Pro Series Tax Basic Edition. The two programs are very similar in design. In fact, the two programs share the same data entry style and screens, so the learning curve is extremely short. It's a very seamless transition. As I mentioned, you have the same look and feel as TurboTax the same data entry screens as TurboTax Forms Entry, and many features designed specifically for the professional preparer. And we offer the only data conversion service that's done actually in the Pro Series Tax Program. So if you have your TurboTax files, you can make a selection and you can convert them to Pro Series Basic with the click of a button. So let's take a look at the software itself. This is Pro Series Basic. This is the opening screen of the software where it lists all of the current tax returns that you already have in the system. And all we do is we go to the top left and we click the button that says new to create a new return. The first screen that comes up is the same screen that you see in TurboTax called the Federal Information Worksheet where we enter all of our basic data. So let's begin to enter the information. We'll use the last name of Smith, first name of John. Now, Pro Series Basic, just like TurboTax, will identify those fields that are absolutely mandatory, making it very easy to know what you need to enter uh, to complete your return. So let's go ahead and enter our Social Security number for John, his occupation, and his date of birth. Okay, now if we have a spouse, let's go ahead and put that on the right side, but in this case, I'm just going to do a single taxpayer. The next information that's required is the address, 105 Main Street. Enter the city, which is Folsom, California in my case, and the zip of 95630. Now the next fields that we know we must fill out are the filing status, so we'll indicate it's single, and then we're going to go ahead and add a dependent uh, to the return. So we'll put in a dependent, and her name is Katie, her social. She's the daughter, so we simply type D on the relationship field, and then the date of birth for Katie is 2008, the dependency code, which is a dependent who lived with the client. And then for EIC, we'll indicate that this yes is a qualifying child and lived with the taxpayer in the U.S. for 12 months. Now the next section down here has some information that you need to fill out so we can accurately calculate earned income credit. Is taxpayer or spouse a qualifying child for EIC for another person? No. Was taxpayer uh, home in the U.S. for more than half of 2013? Yes. The next section when you create a new return is where you assign the preparer to the tax return and then you want to indicate that you're going to be filing the federal tax return and the state of California uh, for e-file. Now when you're done filling out the federal information worksheet, there's a couple of ways that you can enter data. Now you see running down the left hand side of the page, what we do in Pro Series Basic is we break the tax return down by its different categories. And this list over here matches the flow of 1040 page one and two. So we start with an income section, then deductions, credits, taxes, payments. Uh, so it's very easy to kind of move through the return. So what we do is we click on the left to income. And it's kind of an interview in this case. So anything that the client has that's considered income, you're going to check it off. You're going to check that box here on the screen. So if they have wages, you click wages and tax statement. And by doing so, it creates a tab at the top of the screen where, that you'll click to enter your W-2s. I also have interest and dividend income, so I'll click the Schedule B button, and now I have an interest and dividends tab. So that's what I've got in terms of income. I simply go to the top and click the form W-2. Now Pro Series does an excellent job in remembering all those things that you guys type over and over, like employer names and bank names. That's something that TurboTax doesn't do. It's what we call autofill, child care provider. So you're not entering data more than once in our Pro Series basic product. So if I put in the EIN for the employer, it automatically fills out all that information that we need for e-file off the W-2. Now I'm going to come down here and indicate they have $50,000 in wages. You see also a benefit of Pro Series Basic is we automatically will calculate FICA and Medicare if you want us to. And I'll put in here $7,000 in federal tax withheld. If there's any Box 12 information that you need to complete, it's here. And then the only other thing I need on the W-2 for e-file purposes is the employer state ID number. So we'll put that in. Now I click at the top and open up interest and dividends. And again, it's a forms-based input, and I'm just working right off of the Schedule B. 
So I'll just go in and put a couple of payers. I type in B for Bank of America, it automatically puts that name in there because I've already entered it once and I'll put in $150. I have another for Alliant Credit Union and that's $250. So now I'm done entering income. I'd like to enter some deductions. Simply go to the left, click deductions, and then you see a list of all the deductions available in Pro Series. Health savings account, education, moving expenses. But let's go ahead and click the itemized deductions box and it automatically creates itemized deductions tab at the top of our screen. Let's click that. Okay. If I know I'm going to enter $6,000 in, in medical expenses, I pop it right in on the form and it begins to fill the form out automatically for me. All the taxes in the taxes section. So if I've got real estate principal residence taxes of 50, uh, 5,000, I enter it there. And then I also have mortgage interest. And so let's go ahead and, and enter the name of the payer. We'll call this Alliant. Uh, deductible mortgage interest in this case was, uh, we'll say $7,500. Okay, that's it. Now, one of the things that's very similar to, to TurboTax in, in regard to when you're entering data is that we do identify if you have any errors in data entry. In TurboTax on the left, there will be a red exclamation letting you know that those are some things that are missing that you actually need to clean up. In Pro Series Professional, what we do is at the top of the screen, you see how itemized deductions is still red, it's the description. That means there are entries on the screen that you have yet to fill out. So any, any field that is actually marked with a red background, you're going to go ahead and fill out and, and make sure that you knock everything out. And then that will actually turn to black once all of your entries have been made. Okay. So that's really all there is to entering a tax return. So far, what we've entered is the name and the address, a dependent. We indicated we were e-filing. Then under income, we added wages and interest. And in deductions, we've added itemized deductions. Now, another very similar thing, you know, in TurboTax, there, when you're doing a review of the tax return, they call it errors. And you click the button and it begins to list anything that's still an issue in the return. In, Turbo, in, in Pro Series Basic, the way we do that is we have a thing on the left called the Federal Final Review. This is exactly the same as the error button in TurboTax. So if I click Federal Final Review, what it does is it splits our screen into two pieces. And at the bottom, you see how it says errors and omissions? Just go over to the right and hit the Start button. And it will begin to clean up our tax return. Now, when the error is displayed down below, the, 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 the box where you actually fix it is displayed right here. So in this case, it's telling us because the taxpayer is putting in a five-digit PIN as their signature, we actually need to know the date that the PIN was entered, which is essentially the signature date. So I put in 2014, and I hit Next. Okay, Schedule A, I must enter a tax rate. Okay, I'm just putting 8.5% for that, and then hit Next. So what it does is any diagnostic or review item that you see in a, with a red bar, it means it needs to be fixed, because if you don't fix it, you can't e-file the tax return. Anytime you see something in green, like here it says, for your information, these aren't necessarily errors, but they're things that our tax engineers want you guys to take a second look at. Maybe the client is subject to alternative minimum tax. We might tell you that taking the standard deduction on Schedule A might lower their overall AMT and their overall tax liability. But that's all you do. It's the same as the errors button in TurboTax. We just call it the Federal Final Review. Now, when you're done going through all your diagnostics, you simply hit the close button that shuts off the tool. All of your errors have been removed. And then to e-file the tax return, simply go to the left and click where it says file electronically. So as you can see, there's, very, there's a lot of similarities between the two products. We think the learning curve is very short because the actual screens are exact duplications. Whether you're using TurboTax or ProSeries Basic, what you're doing is very, very similar. Now, I did mention that we do an in-product conversion. So if I go back to the home base, I save my tax return. Where you do the conversion is right here. In the upper screen, under the file menu, you go to where it says transfer, and then transfer clients. And what you'll see at the top, it says select the type of files to transfer. All you're going to do to transfer your TurboTax to Pro Series is open the box and select 2000 TurboTax 1040 to 2013 Turbo, uh, uh, Pro Series uh, 1040. That's all there is. Then you're going to hit the Browse button, go out, to browse to the location where your TurboTax files are, and we will automatically convert those. And then you'll see your TurboTax files listed here 
on the home base screen of Pro Series Basic. So as you can see, there's a lot of similarities. We think the learning curve is very, very short. It's just a simple, smooth transition along with data conversion. We think we've got you covered. Um, so good luck. Uh, now, what I'll do is take you back to a couple of, or one final slide, and that is thanking you for watching our webinar. And if you have interest in looking at the product or trying it or speaking to a Pro Series sales consultant, the phone number is 888 7957026. They can help you with a number of questions, primarily pricing. They are offering some substantial discounts to move from TurboTax to Pro Series Basic. Or if you'd like to try a couple of returns in Pro Series Basic, the representatives can set you up with a link uh, to download the program and try a few returns for yourself. Thank you for watching.